Alrighty guys, so it's been a while since the last career sim, but today we're going to be doing one on Cincinnati Wren's new right fielder since Puig left. And man, he looks like he is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Known as the Punisher, Aristides Aquino is scary. Like he's causing problems, especially for the Cubs, so that, that hurts. But I think he's at 11 games, his OPS is almost at 1100. He's hit like 7 or 8 home runs, one of which being this bomb. And they've allowed 3 unearned runs to score. The ball was 118 miles per hour off the bat. He's got a cannon in right field for an arm as well. He potentially could be like a, a really scary player to come up against as a pitcher for the foreseeable future. This year, there's a lot of good young players. You got Tatis, you got Alonzo, you got Isan Diaz, who's still trying to find his way with the Marlins. We got Aquino, uh, Jordan Alvarez, Bo Bichette, Kevin Biggio, a lot of good players to look forward to the future. And I'm really enjoying it. So today, you know, this video is on Aquino. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section, let me know which video you would like to see next. Other than that, guys, use the code Ant Ortiz at SeatGeek if you need tickets for anything and get $20 off your purchase. That's it, guys. Let's hop into this career sim. So for career sims, obviously what we do here is we let the CPU handle everything. So the only thing we're going to control is that making we're going to make sure that Aquino is in the lineup from day one because he's clearly the starting right fielder for the reds so with that being said let's go do that really quick even though um a cheap little beast uh to like acquire for a trade philip irving he actually does usually turn well in a sim style franchise as usual i'm using the riding rosters most recent um roster in the vault so if you guys are looking for a new roster to use that's the one i'm using so as you guys can see aquino moves up to a 70 with the like morale boost of being in the everyday lineup these are his stats his vision is pretty low so i'm kind of thinking he's gonna have a pretty low average he's got decent power already decent fielding stats and good speed um you know discipline clutch vision are kind of low which is a little worrying so i kind of have a feeling this this might not go too well he might not get off to the flying start that he did in real life but six foot four he's a really big guy 70 overall, B potential, 24 years old, can play all across the outfield. But I'm really hoping to see some really good stats. As you can see, he's only had one at bat, and it was a strikeout last year. So we're going to put him in the 7 spot. I think that's a good little spot for a guy who's 70 overall. We're going to leave it like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave lineups on manual so we don't change anything there. And we're going to hop into this career sim with Aristides Aquino. So I normally don't show trades that happen during a... Uh, a career sim that don't involve the player that we're talking about but i found this pretty funny that the indians reacquired trevor bauer for mike clevenger and oliver perez so for a season the reds actually made the postseason as a wild card team at 70 and 92 let's go take a look see if we had like any rookie of the uh year rookie of the year awards um clearly we didn't who won that this year trent grisham okay okay so let's take a look, see how things, we're not looking at pitchers. We want the lineup. Let's see what Aquino's up to. He's up to a 75. Um, we did move him up a little bit in the lineup um, at the trade deadline because Derek Dietrich was hitting like 211. As you can see, he kind of went up a little bit. Aquino though, up to a 75, B potential. It's He's growing very quickly. Holy cow. Looking at his stats for the year, he played 137 games. Okay. 235 average, a 295 on base percentage, which is a little low. Definitely a little bit low. OPS slugging's a little low as well. Good amount of strikeouts. Um, 10 stolen bases, 2 um, caught stealing, 23 home runs. Pretty respectable. 23 doubles and then 55 RBI. So basically a fifth of his hits were home run. Let's take a look at his, his war. 0.8. I mean... Could be a little bit better. I mean, it's definitely the thing that's really going to be hurting him throughout this entire thing is the fact that his vision discipline are pretty low. Um, but overall, I mean, those are pretty respectable numbers for a first year, um, especially when, you, you know, for a, a sim style franchise. Obviously, in real life, he's already hit a third of these home runs in what, you know, like 10 percent of those games. So uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. So playing into the postseason, let's see if they advance. They actually do. And then moving forward, what's going on with these Reds? These Reds are on fire. They swept the Dodgers. This never happens. And heading into this series against the the Yankees, what I'll do is I will um, 
I'll move everybody around just so that they actually get like the same sort of you know matchups and what we'll do here is we'll make it even we'll make it even so here we go heading into the World Series against the Yankees they get swept but hey first season Aristide Zucchino makes the postseason he makes the World Series and then he didn't do too well 200 average one home run and seven RBIs overall I'm pretty happy with that year I think he did quite well I'm kind of excited to see how he does for the future looking at his contract I definitely expect for the CPU to bring him back so let's hop into season two. If anything happens, if not, you'll see me at season five and we'll talk about his career throughout that time. All right, so season five is upon us. And as you guys can see, Aristides Aquino is up to an 85 overall and his potential has actually hit that A mark. Um, so that's 90 at least. So that's actually pretty good. So it looks like he's gone up a little bit um, from his B potential, which I think caps off at 89. So at least he's gone up one um, more for potential fielding wise he looks like a pretty solid fielder decent speed and it's looking like those power numbers look really good the vision's gone up a little bit the vision the discipline's definitely gone up and when we take a look at his career so far we're looking at last year a little bit of a down year but 99 home runs 291 rbis 500 hits exactly and a career average of 240 definitely want to get that up along with the on base percentage and we'll take a look at his war throughout his career Last year was a little bit of a down year, but he has a 5.7 war. So it's it could be a little bit better. Um, he's definitely had a couple decent seasons like this one right here with 34 home runs and 90 RBIs. He only hit 240, but wow, 25 home runs. He had a 278 I average with a 340 on base percentage. So his OPS is going to be high because he's hitting bombs, but he's also striking out quite a bit. Um, he's hit a lot of doubles too, 37 and 38. So maybe this year will be another good year, a bounce back season for him. So let's see how season five plays out. So the end of season five, you guys can see here, 34 home runs. So he tied his career best, 87 RBIs, 126 hits, 30 doubles, three triples, and 182 strikeouts. So he actually had a career high with strikeouts, a 239 average, a 311 on base percentage, a 500 slugging, and an 811 OPS. So career high or a tie for a career high in home runs. We'll take a look at his war really quick. You guys can see he's up to a 90 overall. Um, Hit a 2.7 war or 2.1 war. So actually not one of his best years, but we'll take a look at his stats. You guys can see he's really known for that power. And I mean, I guess it kind of fits with the nickname of the Punisher. We're looking at his fielding stats. I mean, I don't really know how much better they could get. Obviously, he's in the high 70s. I, I mean, duh, he could hit the 80s and the 90s. But overall, I mean, those are good fielding stats. Decent speed at 69. Nice just the vision and the discipline really would need to go up for him to you know consist like kind of get more home runs get more rbis and really raise that average i think that's what's holding him back so you guys can see his stats his career totals at the bottom overall it's not too bad in five years definitely could be a little bit better but like i've mentioned discipline and vision are a big issue in a sim style franchise so that's season five if anything comes up along the way he has won one gold glove, but I figured I wouldn't stop um, throughout the year just to kind of show you guys that he's won a gold glove. So that's one award. Nothing else has really happened. No MVPs or any awards like that besides the gold glove. So we'll leave it at that for now. I'll see you guys at season 10 unless something else comes up along the way. All right. So Aquino's tenure at the Reds has ended. He's been sent to the Cardinals for the aging Paul Goldschmidt. So. I guess we're going to have to check the Cardinals lineup from here on out. I can't believe they traded within the division. But so it looks like Aquino is going to be now in St. Louis with the Cardinals. In his first year with the Cardinals, you guys can see 33 doubles, 24 home runs, 143 hits, 69 RBIs. Nice. And then a 250 average with a 318 on base percentage, which is his second best in his career. Um, let's take a look. See, I mean, overall, it's still pretty consistent i mean he's within like the 20s um the mid 20s for most of his career so sixth year um it's actually kind of interesting because we looked at the reds and they have a couple cardinals on their squad paul de Jong is one i think they have a couple pitchers as well they actually traded away um paul goldschmidt but that's not why we're here we're here to look at aristides aquino st louis didn't make the playoffs this year unfortunately so there was that i just wanted to show you his first year with the cardinals really quick so I'll see you guys at season 10. Heading into season 10, let's take a look at Aristides Aquino's or attributes to start. So this is like nine going into 10. 
He's 33 years old. I think he's got like two more years on his deal. Yeah. And you guys can see good amount of power. His contact versus lefties is pretty high. Versus righties, he's still pretty solid. Vision's up to 55, which is good to see. Discipline's up there as well. Fielding stats are still pretty high. And let's take a look at his career statistics. Last year, he had a career year. 30 home runs. Actually, not the highest like home runs or anything, but like 30 home runs, 29 RBIs, a good amount of hits, and 154. Um, 29 doubles. I think I said RBIs. 84 RBIs, 58 walks, 129 strikeouts. So the strikeouts definitely dropped. Um, 13 stolen bases, one caught stealing. He had a 279 average, a 350 on base percentage, and an 855 um, OPS. When we take a look at his WAR for the year, it was at 3.3. So his his best in his career since 2021. So it's been a few years since he had a good one. Um, a 14.5 for his career. And again, this is going to be year 10 so it's kind of interesting to see he's definitely kind of like last year last couple seasons actually struggled a bit um but heading into year 10 it's looking like he's maybe starting to find a little bit of form again maybe like a little little like hot streak as he gets older so we're gonna see how things go in season 10 again he's still on the cardinals so that's kind of a thing that's kind of a bummer he's not on the reds anymore because this reds lineup really sucks i think they won like 50 games last year so let's see how season 10 plays out for Aquino and uh, maybe maybe he'll make the postseason again because he hasn't been to the postseason since season one when the Reds appeared in the World Series. So it's looking like season 10 is going to be the cutoff for Aquino to develop. I mean, he still hit 27 home runs. He still had 70 RBIs. Average is actually pretty still like still pretty good for him. I mean, a 268, 336 on base percentage with an 807 OPS, but it's looking like the stats are starting to decrease. So realistically, he's probably got like two or three years before he, you know, hangs up the glove and it's time to call it for retirement. But so far, you know, 260 home runs is not bad. Maybe we could see him hit that 300 club um, if he has like, what, two more years of 20 home runs, which I think with that power, he definitely should be able to. So we'll have to wait and see how things pan out. As long as he doesn't decrease too quickly, he should be able to hit that 300 home run club. So we'll see. And um, we'll just keep going through the sim. I don't think the the Cardinals made it this year. No, they didn't. So, like I said, he still hasn't been there since like season one or season two, unfortunately. But so far, that's how Aquino is doing throughout his career. Alrighty, so in the year 2033, the time has finally come where Aristides Aquino has retired. 39 years old at 62 overall. You guys can see he played a season with the Reds last year, a little bit. The Tigers. And also the Yankees the last couple of years. He did finish with 307 home runs. So he is part of that 300 club. And he played for about 12 years. Obviously, he spent some time in the minors his last few seasons. Overall, he finished with a 247 average, a 313 on base percentage, a 461 slugging, and an OPS of 774. 307 home runs, like I mentioned. 887 RBI. So just a little bit shy of that thousand mark 344 doubles so he actually you know he put up quite a few doubles in his career 1500 hits just over that mark and uh quite a few strikeouts as well quite a few quite a few uh let's take a look at his career war 23.2 so i mean definitely could have been a little bit better but overall for a player who for the most for most part of his career had a low vision and a low discipline stat or attribute that really plays a big effect in a sim style franchise for so for him to be able to put up 20 plus home runs every single season a, a decent on base percentage a good amount of rbis and stuff like that it's definitely not a bad little pickup for an outfielder who is also a very solid um fielder so you got a good power bat and also a good fielding outfielder so not too bad of a career for aristides aquino he was also what 24 when he came into the league so, I mean, pretty decent numbers to say the least. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, career sim. Let's see if he made the Hall of Fame. I doubt he did. He did not. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this career sim. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And again, in the comment section, let me know which video you guys would like to see next. Other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video on The Punisher. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.